Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. This is a Technics SA202 stereo receiver, uh, late mid 70s uh, to late 70s version here with the LED displays for um, signal and um, stereo reception. The problem with this unit, and it is typical uh, after they are around for like 40 years, is that they drift and um, you don't get a stereo indicator even though the um, the muting FM uh, stereo off on switch is up in the auto position. You should be seeing a stereo indicator right there, but we're not. Also, it doesn't give you stereo, so you can hear that it's in mono when you play it. So, uh, and obviously this refers only to FM reception, not um, turntable input or anything else. Um, so here's the thing. It, it's always helpful to have this service manual, which I was able to download for, I believe, for free from the internet, just a PDF. Um, and, you know, in going through it, it does give you everything you need to know to correct this. But let me just cut to the chase. Um, what happens is, is that over the time, over time, some of the components drift, some of the capacitors drift and things like that. And that's the tuning mechanism right there. But right next to it is an adjustment. It's VR129 on the circuit board. Um, you're going to be very careful taking the top off of this receiver. I just want to say first, because remember, if you're going to work on it hot and you have to, to be able to see whether it works, you got to take the top off. There's the power transformer, so you have 120 volts coming right in from your power supply, from your plug. Um, and there's the power supply right there. You don't want to go sticking your hands on anything in here. But here's the thing. Over the years, these things drift, and there is a very simple way to fix it. Um, most of the time, I would say 99% of the time, it's not going to be the LED. Those things just don't go out, really. You'd have to leave it on 24-7 for like 40 years to get those things to wear out. Um, in, the, in most cases, it's a simple adjustment. It's right on the circuit board. It's VR129, okay? So you can put an adjuster in right in there. And normally I would use um, a plastic adjusting tool that's safer, but I'm, I'm pretty confident of what I'm doing right now. And the um, this is not magnetized, by the way. It's just a steel uh, screwdriver. It's a Phillips. You can put it in there or a regular blade screwdriver. Anything usually works. And what you're going to do is you're just going to turn it a little bit just turn it until you see FM reception come on and that LED will come on. There you go. You can adjust it back until it goes off and, and then up again until it goes on and you get it kind of right in the middle. So what I'm doing is I'm just, I'm, I'm just turning that a little bit and I'm watching the receiver. Okay. So now we have stereo. And I will say, um, you can hear. When you flip it off now, it goes to mono. I turn it back on, I can hear stereo. You can hear the separation. I don't want to play that too long because I don't want to get a copyright tag. Um, but anyway, that's a really quick way to fix it. That's the first place I would look if your old Technics receiver seems to be stuck in mono. That's usually the place to look. I have an SA80, which is an older version of this receiver um, that did not have the problem. Funny enough, it's even older. Um, but the adjustment is virtually the same. Uh, it's just a little bit uh, older receiver. Instead of the uh, LED displays for signal, um, it has the uh, the edgewise uh, panel meter, which I think is pretty cool too. But, you know, these are these are pretty pretty cool looking. Anyway, um, typically that's what happens on these receivers. So you just have to... Um, uh, go through and do that adjustment, and um, you should be pretty good to go. All right. Thanks for watching.